You're listening to Season 7 of the award-winning Home Ed Matters podcast. Brought to you from the West Midlands in the UK. We're just a regular family of five on a home education journey and we want to share our journey with you and encourage you on yours. So thanks for joining us and here's this week's episode. Right. Right. Welcome to Home Ed Matters. Season 7. Episode 7. Wow. My name's Luke. (laughs) My name's Eden. Thanks for tuning in. Yeah. Oh, and it's the end of a busy day. Very busy day. As it often is, I think, when we yeah. record. And where are we sitting? On the lawn. The lovely lush lawn. The lovely lush, lush lawn. So our main strip, the, the central section of our garden, has currently got three stages of grass growth. <laughs> yeah, it's literally every single stage. We've got the finished stage the in-between stage and they're only just starting to come up but still a few seed stage so nine months ago this was six foot high brambles yeah all of it tree stumps oh yeah yeah, well done Belle doing great swinging Um, and we have finally Finally. at the end of the summer uh, I think maybe it was end of July we sowed this grass yeah Um, but it's been lovely and lush for ages And yeah it is super lush well I've been mowing it every week and then The last two weekends, not this weekend, but the last two before that, we finished the other two sections. Yeah. And they are coming up, so that's exciting. Yep. Um, So next spring, we'll have lots of other, you know, options to to you do, really. Yeah, because we've been slightly, I say slightly, not very much, limited this summer because we don't have a lawn to do stuff on. Yeah, and and I know you really like the feel of grass between your toes yeah which right now i'm going to take my shoes off we don't have a flat lawn we do have some quite slopey sections of lawn but i think that's nice i think it's like more versatile if that's a word anyway it's a great place to sit in the shade and it's been a really nice warm day oh don't yeah. don't sit down don't lie down because it'd be too far from the mic oh. um ash is just in the hammock we've got the hammock set up in the orchard yeah he's falling off um mirabelle's just coming past mama t bell um right Right. Lots of things to talk about. Lots and lots. Um, speaking of grass seeds, we we use Exploring Nature with Children quite a bit as, uh, uh, as a text. Yeah. And we did Seed Week the other week, yeah. last week maybe. So yeah, we did. Tell us a little bit about Seed Week. So we like... So we, um, we had like... We found lots of different seeds... And um, we talked about the different ways that they would like. Ash, they're really distracting. Um, We talked about the different ways that they like um, get sown. And um, what kind of seeds did you collect then? Like um, I collected a rose hip. Yeah. Which is spread by squirrels. Um, And I collected a dandelion fluff and a blackberry and an acorn. All lots of different types of seeds. We have got lots of different ones. Um, and the type which cling on to you. Mm. Are berries seeds? Yeah. Or have they got seeds in the middle? Berries have got seeds in the middle. Like oh, raspberries. Right. So there's loads of seeds. rowan berries. Loads of hawthorn berries, sorry, should I say, around the place? Yeah. I use them in my room. They re- make really nice decorations. And did, did you make some collages and things? Like, did, What kind of art and things did you do with them? Or did you do anything with them? We didn't. Oh. <laughs> I thought you were going to make, some, make, some, like, make something with them. Oh, well, we did do like a sit spot. Yeah, what's the, we, um, what's the sit spot? So we all chose a spot and um, we had to observe for five minutes in the what garden. was there in the garden. Wouldn't quite be the same if it was like just in the lounge. In the lounge. Whoa, I don't oh, you're know. You're doing amazing you running, do Belle. In the lounge. Yeah. Let them see me. Yeah, okay. Didn't let who see you? What, the chickens? <laughs> oh, right. Belle's Not... playing hide and seek <laughs> with the chickens. <laughs> Which um, is a bit hard because the chickens <laughs> are in a cage. We, yeah. So we're we're back in our the schools are all schools have all gone back and we're yeah. back in a regular routine more or less. Yes. Um, so that's pretty good and we've just done week seven and eight of our thirty six week year academic yeah. year. Um, yeah. So uh, that's really good and yes. a few other things have restarted. So what was the most exciting thing about what restarted last Monday? Drum roll, please. Drama. That's awesome. And With a million exclamation points. So your you one drama was one of your highlights last year. Yeah. And at the beginning of lockdown, you were very disappointed. Well, I would say disappointed is an understatement. Because you had prepared two plays. Yeah, I was in two plays. 
and they were due to happen, but like many things... Yeah, it was like a, literally a week before they were going to happen. <laughs> oh, I can still hear the disappointment in your eyes. No, in your, not in your eyes, in your voice. <laughs> can you hear things with your eyes? Um, so, after a long break and some slight changes, Quite drama's started. Oh, yeah. Thank you so much, Belle. Oh, brilliant, yeah. <laughs> Pop it down here. Pop it by my cup of tea, if you like. Not in my tea, next to it. Um, so, you're in a different drama group. As uh, in different yes. age group. Different age group, even and though I'm And it was all socially youngest. distanced, so how yeah. did that work? Uh, well, the leaders wore face visors, and um, we, had to stay, we had to stay in our different squares. Yeah, so they marked out squares in the yeah. hall that you use. And there was a one-way system of coming in and out. But, um, I, but when we came in, it got quite congested, so this week um, there's going... Okay, yeah. Belle. <laughs> there's going to um, have, like, a... Um, system for coming in and out. Yeah. So, uh, in theory, it's still going on tomorrow. Yes. So that's good. Um, even though there's some local lockdowns and some more restrictions around the place. Yeah, but, but even dra- if there is a local lockdown, then drama will still be able to happen. That's good news. That is very good news. Um, yesterday. Yesterday. You had a very special treat for a friend's birthday. Yes. What was that? Horse riding. So you went horse riding. Tell us all about it. In fact, you haven't actually told me about it yet, so this will be the oh, first time I hear about it. Really? <laughs> Other people, I think Grandad was waiting to hear about it on the podcast. Yes. Okay, hello to Grandad if you're there. And tell us about horse riding. So, um, it was so cool. I ride a horse, I rode a horse called Baby, and okay. my friend rode a horse called uh, Gracie, which is actually the name of their dog. <laughs> but it wasn't their dog, just to but clarify. But it wasn't their dog, yeah. And, um... And so uh, two girls I knew from drama were there. Good link, yeah. And um, Esther, who used to volunteer there, um, she did my group. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah. So you actually knew the person helping yeah. run, do the horse riding. That was really no, brilliant. No, she was literally doing it, Dad. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Yeah. Um, so it's been a long while since you went horse riding. Yeah. You were very little last time yes. we went horse riding, which was for your granny's 70th birthday. Yeah. So that was like five years ago. So what what was some of the best bits about it? Um, well, I think I really liked doing the trotting, um, and it was so it was really good because she literally she taught us like a really a good amount, you know. And um, when we went uh, horse riding with Granny, um, they didn't teach us how to hold the reins properly. Yeah. Yeah. So you have to like have your like finger like your pinky finger. Um, on the other side, and then your thumbs on the top. Oh, okay. So you like got two. You're holding it in two, two Three. point, two points. Yeah. 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 Oh, okay. Well, that's yeah. good to know. And um, sadly, there was no such thing as giddy up. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but uh, there is like walk on and stand and trot yeah. and stuff. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> um, and you also had another amazing trip out. Yeah. Uh, was it last week? I think it was. Yes, it was. This is, again, making use of the fact that we upgraded our Legoland Discovery Centre passes to Merlin passes. It's definitely pass worth holders. an upgrade. They're worth an upgrade, yeah. Well, yeah. It's so cool. So where did you go? We went to Alton Towers. Duh, duh, duh. Do you know I've never been? Have you not? I've never been to Alton Towers. Why did you dun dun dun? Because it was a dramatic announcement. Yeah. Um, so what, what was the was best bit about Alton Towers? Um... Definitely not, not the hex or the haunted house ride. Was that really scary? <laughs> yeah. Well, the haunted ra- house ride was clearly vague, but hex was very scary. Even yeah. though it said it was a family ride. And CBB Land, CBB's Land was, well, for me it wasn't very good. Belle loved it. Um, and my favourite bit was Spinball Wizard. Yeah, Spinball Wizard. Yeah, it was really fun. That's really good. Yeah. Um, and we're planning to go back at some yes. point. So we can do more roller coasters. Yeah. So that was a good trip out. Yeah, it was really good. I was working. Yeah. As often is the case. <laughs> the good often. news is, you know, I've only got a week left of work until and I've got a, a week off. Yes. And we've got lots of trips planned. So by the time you listen to our next episode, yes, we should have lots of content from out being out and about. So yeah. I'll just do a little bit of a teaser there for that. Yeah. Fort Park and oh, no, 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 don't say, included. Don't say anything. Don't say anything. I did do it just a tiny bit, Daddy. Just a tiny bit. Right. Well, on that teaser, we'll be back in one sec. Bye.
You are listening to the Home in Matters podcast. We're back. We are back. I didn't even have time <laughs> to drink your a coffee. Cup of this tea. Yeah. It's tea because, today. Because was it, it, I think it was coffee. Coffee was so last episode. Yeah. It's actually tea. It is actually tea. Why? Because Why? I try not to have more than two cafetiers of coffee a day. What's one it? in the morning and one in the afternoon. It's the thing I make coffee in. Okay. Sometimes that is a French press. <laughs> um, so it's like a newspaper. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> French. Well, but, well, the reason you have a newspaper press is because they used to literally press the press the typeface onto the paper. Yeah. And in this case, you're pressing down on the coffee grounds. Yeah. Anyway. It's also um, a very funny use of words. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Good to know. Good to know. Right. Um, wow, some noisy things going past. Yep. Experiments we've been doing. Uh, you did a banana experiment. Yes. <laughs> so um, we put two bananas, well, two halves of a banana in separate bags. And in one bag we put yeast. Plastic bags, yeah. Plastic little, bags. little sealable yeah. bags, yeah. And in the other bag we didn't put anything. And we left them for a week. And um, the hypothesis was that the one with yeast would go squashy because the yeast eats it. Yeah. And, we, and it worked. And it worked. Just also because Asha squished it down a bit. Yeah, but mostly because mostly the because yeast did it. it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, if you tried to squash down a plain banana, though, it didn't work. Interesting. Okay, so that was a good a good experiment, and that was probably yeah. from um, biology for every kid. It was. It's a good. That all those experiments are really good. Yeah, we, they, we would recommend that whole series. They have all worked. <laughs> um, and then we watched some experiments. We watched a show called Emily's Lab. Wonder Lab Emily's, or Glow Lab. Emily's Wonder Lab. Yeah. On Netflix. Emily's Wonderland. And um, so we would recommend that. And we so specifically, we watched one about fluorescence. Yes. What but can we, you remember about flu- about that one then? Um, it was about how um, all the kids got really messy. <laughs> it was also because, um, like, what did they do? Sorry, this was two weeks ago and we've already just, like, watched one. We'll watch another What was on the other one? The other one was about the glue pain stuff. I'm not sure if it was glue pain, but, yeah. So what's that about? It was about... Um, what, what is it? Explain it. So it's like um, the corn flour and water and um, it's about like all these different liquids. And is it the one where the liquid that goes hard if you hit it but yeah. it's soft, it's gloopy otherwise? Yeah, and they tried to walk across a pool of it and it was really funny. And the kids always get messy at the end. Yeah, I can imagine. So that's something we're enjoying at the moment. We're also yeah. enjoying... Um, what, was the, what did we just watch over tea? What's it called? Something bookmark. Bookmarks. It's called bookmarks. Yeah, it's oh, right. literally called book- bookmarks. And celebrating this, black voices. So this is stories um, from specifically from um, people's cultures that aren't like ours. Yeah. And uh, they're really good. Actually. Yeah, they are. And uh, yeah, we're talking <laughs> yeah. about some of the words in different languages that we didn't know. Yeah. Things like that. So. Uh, we would recommend that. That is also on Netflix. It's called Book- Bookmarks. Yes. Uh, it's good to get a bit of variety in some of the stories that we're reading. Yeah. And some of the things that we're hearing. I would also recommend You vs. the Wild on Netflix. Yeah. That's a really good show. <laughs> just really random. But... Is that the Bear Grylls one? <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, a Bear Grylls really one. Wrong. We've just, Mummy and I, in fact, have just finished watching uh, the, the hard, tough, toughest race on earth, which has got Bear Grylls in it, but it's actually really good. Oh, can I watch it? Um, probably Please. at some point, yeah. At some point, yeah. Yes. Now, um, you've been doing, speaking of listening to different voices, you have still been enjoying lots of podcasts on Yoto Player, your yes. app. Uh, what podcasts, what new podcasts have you been listening to recently? Uh, well, they've put some new podcasts on, which is really good because I listened to all the other ones. Um, so they've got on Stoop Kids. Okay, what's and, that about? Um, it's about uh, different uh, black stories mm-hmm. and um, girl tales, which is just like... Um, Fairy tales, but without the princes. Okay, good ones, yeah. Yeah, and then there's also Fire's Fables, but I haven't really listened to that one. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, so that's a little bit of variety. Yes. And did you say they all the new episodes come out on Mondays? Yeah, they do. So I have to. I spend a whole week checking, but it's always Mondays. And on Monday, I have a big listen off. I wonder if anybody checks regularly to see if we've issued a new episode. Yeah. Please let, let, let us know if you yeah, do. Yeah, <laughs> let, let us know if you do, if you eagerly anticipate our yeah. episodes every other week. It would be nice if you did. Um, so, talking about what we're listening to, we often listen to your narration. So, narration is a key part of our Charlotte yeah. Mason pro- approach, which is yes. where 
we test your understanding through you telling the stories back. Yeah. How do you do your narration at the moment? Uh, I record it on voice memos. Okay, on your on your phone. Yeah, it and actually uses, it takes up quite a lot of space. Does it? <laughs> yeah, because mummy doesn't listen to them for ages. And well, she, she does, does she listen really to them all, yeah, at Yeah, the she does like a really big listen-off. Now, why don't you list out some of the books that you have been reading then? So you read a chapter and then you narrate it back, you do a recording back. Yeah, it's around a chapter, yeah. So they include Storybook of Science? Yeah. What kind of things is that about? Um, that's about how their uncle teaches the kids about science. Okay. Um, Bell bio? Uh, that's Alexander Graham Bell's biography. Okay, yeah. Just to um, say his full name. <laughs> Alexander Graham Bell. Um, or Graham. Not, not necessarily Graham. <laughs> I was totally thinking Graham because of Graham. <laughs> um, the Bible? Yes. Does that, do the readings vary, like the different books in the Bible yeah, and stuff does. like that? Yeah, they vary quite a lot. Um, great inventors. Yeah, that's about um, all the different people. <laughs> what okay, are all the different great doing? inventors. Yeah. This is because we're doing the Industrial Revolution at the moment. Yeah, there was um, a very good Aquila magazine about it. Well, yeah, oh, actually, I was going to get onto that. Um, oh, also, do sorry. Grace. What's Grace about? Um, Grace is about Grace Darling. It is my least favourite book. Oh, okay. But um, um, it's it's all right. But um, yeah, it's a very hard read. Is it? Mirabel, what are you doing? Um, I think she's just deliberately trying to get onto the show. Um, so what about? So we still get Aquila magazine, which is a gift yeah. from your grandparents. And how often does Aquila come? Once a month, except in the summer holidays when they have one bumper edition. Okay, and the, and the latest edition arrived recently. Yes. Um, and it was all about the Industrial Revolution, which was pretty exciting. Yeah, it was. It was really good. Did it really supplement some of the things you've been learning? Yeah, and um, they had lots of good things about like the cotton industry and stuff. Yeah, that's pretty yeah. exciting. Um, and who, which great inventor have you been reading about recently? Um, George Stevenson. Okay, and what? T- tell us a little bit about him. Um, well, he invented the locomotive. Yeah. Yeah, and um, he was like a really good engineer. Mm. Um, even though, and he like worked his way up from being like a really really poor miner into like a really like experienced engineer who everyone wanted. So, I guess the lesson is never to give up and also to try lots of new things. Yeah. That's a good lesson to learn. Yes. Well, that's everything on my list. Yeah. Anything else you want to talk about? I just had a very long chat with Matea. So, that's a friend of yours. Um, So, one of the benefits of lockdown is that you, when you did your... Uh, happy, happy news. news for our street yeah. and delivered it you actually got some really great replies from people yeah. and you've made some really good friendships and yeah, you've kept in touch kind of pen pals but with pe- people on our street yeah and actually when you went to just drop round return a book and yeah. drop the latest letter round yeah you were able to do a nice socially distanced chat yeah it was really nice we chatted for like an hour wow that's amazing yeah well yeah <laughs> I said I would be gone quite I would come back quite quickly but in the end I did not no but the good yeah. news is you didn't miss any apple crumble that I just made with all of the yes. apples. Well, with some of the apples. We still have many apples. Yeah. Well. Well. I think we've come to the end of this episode. Yes. Uh, thanks, as always, for listening in. Yeah. We appreciate it. Do get in touch. Yes. And if uh, if you know anybody that would like the show, please let them know about it. Yeah. Tell your friends. Tell your best friends. Yeah. We post most of our photos and stuff on Instagram. Yeah. Uh, these days, but... We're also on a few other platforms, so yeah. all the details of how to follow us coming up. In the meantime, we'll see you in a couple of weeks' time. Bye! Bye! You've been listening to the Home Ed Matters podcast. We love hearing from you, so email us to homeedmatters at gmail.com. Follow us on YouTube, Instagram, Twitter and Facebook at Home Ed Matters. And visit our website at www.homeedmatters.co.uk If you're enjoying the show, please leave us a review wherever you listen, like Apple Podcasts, Stitcher or Spotify. Thanks for joining us and enjoy your home ed journey this week. They say absence makes the heart grow fond Well, I've grown quite fond of you Some people may think you're strange, but I think I'm strange too. It's raining outside, 
and it's raining inside too. I want to go home, place where I'm known, and where I know you walk familiar streets.